Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take a domain you just bought and add it to your hosting account as an add-on domain. Now, in my example here, I bought the domain through GoDaddy and I'm going to put it onto a Bluehost account, but something very similar or almost exactly the same will work for whatever registrar you have and whatever hosting account you have. So the domain in question in this case is Craft in Color. As you can see, it's just a blank page. There's nothing going on. You might have a different message here, like website can't be accessed or something else. But either way, there's nothing here. And there's actually a couple different ways we can add this domain to Bluehost. And I'm gonna show you what those are right now. If we go into a Bluehost account, we uh, used to have an icon that looked a lot like one of these that said add on domain. And it was pretty simple to do or pretty simple to find. And that's gone now. So where we have to go now is under domains in the top menu here. And I click on there. And we're going to look for a link that doesn't even say add on domain anymore. It now says assign a domain to your cPanel account. So we click on that link and this is where we assign domains. It walks you through what to do. The first thing you have to do yourself, but the rest it kind of walks you through it. So we want to choose the second one. Use a domain that is not already associated with your account. I'm going to type in craftincolor.com and it's going to give us a bunch of options to verify that domain. So these are the options here. The first one and probably the most commonly used one is changing the name servers of the domain. The second one is you change the A record in the DNS of the domain to this IP. The third is you add a page named this that contains the text of this onto your website. And the third one is use the EPP code. Uh, the, the only two I've ever used are the top two because when I do this add on domain, I don't yet have a web page and I don't have anywhere to host this HTML file that's gonna have this piece of code. So I don't wanna create that first and then verify ownership that way. And the EPP code is code that you have to request from your registrar and it's code that, that begins the process of transferring a domain to a different account. And that takes some time because you have to request the EPP code. It's not an instant process. These first two, from my experience, are the fastest, and I'm gonna show you how to do both of them, and I'm gonna show you why I think the A record is better. So for the name servers, all you do is you either copy these or you remember them, because they're pretty simple, and we go back to our domains, we find our domain in the list in the, Go in the GoDaddy account or whatever registrar account you're in, find the name servers or set name servers button or link, click on custom, click on enter custom name servers, and then we type in ns1.bluehost.com and ns2.bluehost.com. Now your host may have more than two name servers and you click on add name server here to add more. You just add as many as your host gives you, just add them all in there. For Bluehost is only two, HostGator is only two, there are a couple I've seen that are more. But once you have those in there, you click on okay. And then those would be added as the name servers and this will take some time they say up to 48 hours it never takes that long but it will take some time for this to propagate i'm just going to hit cancel because i don't actually want to do that and i'm going to show you how we can add an a record so if we click on the domain itself which is a hyperlink and then click on dns file zone we see all the dns information and the first one is called a or host and this is what is referred to as the a record so if we go back to bluehost we see we can set the DNS A record to point to this IP. It's gonna copy this IP. And if we change this A record, we just click on this uh, button here, put in our new IP and click on finish and click on save changes. In the top right here, it's gonna say, takes up to 48 hours. Again, it never takes that long, but it's gonna pop up and say it anyway. There it is. Now what just happened is we set the A record, which is the internet traffic that will go to the Bluehost account once this is propagated. What this allows you to do is send different traffic elsewhere. And the reason you want to do this is for email traffic. So down a little lower, we have what's called the MX records, the mail exchanger records. So if you're using a mail solution like Rackspace or G Suite, G Suite's the one I use, I love it. Um, you can set your MX records so that your email goes into the correct inbox. Now, why does this matter? Why does this make it better than using a name server? A name server sends all your traffic to the new host, including your MX records. 
So if you want to have a custom email account or use a third party email service, I mean, not the mailbox on your server, you have to use the MX records on the hosting account. And if you want to move your domain in the future, you could possibly suffer downtime in your mail because of those MX records, because it takes up to 48 hours to, for the changes to propagate. If you forget to propagate them or forget to initiate the propagation, who knows how long it could take. But either way, that entire span of time, you're not receiving your email. So if receiving your email is of a high priority and very important to you, set the A record for your host and set the MX records in your domain name registrar because then your email won't suffer any downtime. If you transfer this domain to a different host in the future, all you have to do is just update the A record to the new hosting account and you're done. That's gonna take a certain amount of time to propagate, obviously for up to 48 hours they say, but you don't have any effect on your MX records. Your email won't suffer any downtime from that. And that's why I believe using the A record is safer and is better. So now that we set that, we're gonna head back over to Bluehost I doubt it's gonna be set yet. I'm just gonna refresh this page. And if it's done already, it's gonna be a miracle because I've never seen any of them propagate that quickly. But we're gonna see if it can verify the domain. If not, I'm just gonna pause this video until it does, and then I'll, I'll see you back here at that point. Yeah, here we see we're still giving the, or giving the options on how to verify ownership, so it hasn't propagated yet. I'm just gonna pause this video, and I'll be back when the domain name can be verified. I'll see you in a minute. So we're back and it took about 15 minutes and not 48 hours for this change to propagate. And it now says the ownership's been verified. I changed the A record to this IP. Bluehost is happy. So now we can carry on with the process of adding it as an add-on domain. So our options on the next panel are adding as an add-on domain, which means that you can build a website there. Add as a park domain. These are most often used to display advertising on park domains. I'm sure you've seen them before. If you, There's a bunch of different ways you can misspell Google. And some of them, Google hasn't bought those domains yet. Most of them they've bought and redirected to google.com. Some of them they haven't. And it actually shows AdSense advertising on those domains. And those are called park domains. And unassigned means it's attached to your account but doesn't yet uh, have a folder or points to a website. It's just on the account ready to be used. And then our, or I always choose add-on domain because I actually want to build a website. Like why would I buy a domain if I'm not going to build a website or park it, I guess. Um, so I choose add-on domain. In the next section, I choose a new directory. I'm not going to add this site's files to an existing site's files. I'm going to make a new site file or a new site folder. I usually call it what the domain name is. This is actually auto-populated. And there's also a subdomain as part of your main domain, which you can use or not use, doesn't matter. But this directory folder is definitely something you want to name how you want it because you're going to be using that a lot. Then we click on assign this domain if everything's good. And when that domain name has been successfully added, we're brought back to this page where we just see our list of domains, which is not where we want to be. Where we want to be is back in our hosting area where we can start playing with our files and actually doing some stuff. So if we recall, we started this video, we had a blank page here. What we're going to do is we're going to add something to that page just to prove to you that this actually worked. So we're gonna open the file manager, go to the home directory, I'm gonna to go to the PHP underscore public. I'm gonna find the folder that was just created, which is craft in color. Now it has all these files in here by default. You can actually go ahead and delete these. They're not required. If you're gonna install the WordPress site, it's gonna delete all of them. And I'm gonna create a new file. I'm gonna call it index.html. I don't know if you knew this or not, but when I started web design many, many years ago, I it was back when I was building sites with HTML, not even with WordPress, and index.html is the homepage. It took me forever to figure that out. Anyway, now it took you two seconds to learn that, but it took me forever to figure out index.html is the homepage. But if we uh, highlight that, click on edit, and I'm just gonna type some words in here. This is craft in color, no spaces, save. And now if I refresh this page, that text is output right here, which I think proves that we just added an add-on domain to our hosting account. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, share it on social media, and check out wplearninglab.com for more tutorials like this every single day. Talk to you soon.